need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. The workbook window is the window in which you will perform almost all of your work. Within the workbook window, you will enter data into the worksheets. The names of the worksheets within a workbook are shown on tabs in the lower left corner of the workbook. A workbook stores information much like a database table does. Starting in Excel 2007, the size of each worksheet within a workbook has been greatly increased. A single worksheet within a workbook is arranged as a grid that contains 16,384 columns and 1,048,576 rows. The first 26 columns are labeled A through Z. After that, they are labeled double A through AZ, then triple A through XFD. The rows are simply sequentially numbered from 1 through 1,048,576. The intersection of a column and a row within a worksheet is called a cell. Cells are where you enter information. They are referenced by their column and row location within the worksheet using an identification known as a cell address. For instance, the first cell in the upper left corner is called cell A1 because it is in column A at row 1. To the right of that cell is cell B1 because it's in column B, row 1. That's how you refer to a specific cell within Excel. Just combine the column letter with the row number. You can only enter data into the currently selected cell, which is also called the active cell, within the worksheet. You can tell which cell is selected because it will have a border appear around it, and its cell address will appear within the name box in the formula bar. The column and row heading for the column and row in which the active cell is located will also appear highlighted. You can only have one active cell available for data entry at a time. Make sure that you leave the cell after performing data entry by moving the cursor out of the cell or by clicking to a different cell in order to set the data into the cell and continue data entry within the workbook. Now note that although you can scroll throughout the whole worksheet, you will only be able to enter data into the currently selected cell. So even if you scrolled the view of the worksheet 100 columns to the right, if your active cell is A1, then that's where your data entry will occur when you type. You can also select multiple cells if you simply want to manipulate the information already contained inside of them. For instance, you can select cells A1 through A10, for example, and then add their values together. Now we will look at selecting and manipulating ranges of data later on in this tutorial. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.